Um, I have not played this game in a long time. I played it last time. Well, then the wall. So basically, what I am saying right now is, I have not played this game in a long time. I found some brand new settings for this game. Probably one of the best settings I have found personally. And also from watching our YouTubers and what they found and and I also read in the comments and one of the guys make a couple of changes and these little changes actually made the control a little better, a lot more easier to turn, a little bit responsive more. Cause before it was slow but it was more it was maintainable. So I had to increase in studio and stuff to change it up a little bit. So before we get into this, let me make sure my control didn't destroy itself, because uh that's a problem. Um uh, controller. Okay, I don't know what happened. Okay, if I go to my settings, go to controls. These are my settings. 5, 0, 0, 30, 14, 0, 10, 45, 60, 70. Zero feedback. Um, RPM, gearbox. All is on. Uh, advanced in message control input is mode is 3. And advanced is on. Storing, uh, soft steering dampening on. Visual filtering on. And opposite lock help is on. It's off, man. To say, the reason why I don't run force feedback because it's pretty much vibration, and what it causes is vibrating. So it's gonna cause you to lose a lot of control because it's gonna vibrate your control, and you're gonna start moving your thumbs too much, and you don't feel it. Well. So before, what we're gonna start is little um, gameplay here. In this today video, um, it's different. This is a car comparison, um, or not car comparison, but car laptop series in which um, we take cars and we make them uh, put them on track and see what they're fast so today we're doing a Merrick RP2 not RP 219D LMP2 this thing has a straight four which I was laughing about it's aspirated that's one thing I think confused me turbo it had turbo in there. It's, I don't know what size turbo it was, but it's massive. I'm telling you. So in this video, we're just going to go straight right into it. We're going to get right down to the bare bones and right into the main point of the video, which is to get onto the point on why this car is probably one of the best cars to use. And um, we're doing three laps. It's two miles. And uh, these three laps, we're going to choose what the best time is. And what we find the best time is for each car. This series is not going to be going on for long. Probably do 10 episodes, 10 cars. And, um, cars I feel that they sh we should do. Um, and uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys are ready for the little training. Let's get you. Was it this car driving? Or was that? No, I don't think it was this car, bro. It was something different. No, it's the same exact car. Yeah, this thing is crazy. I'm like, yeah, this thing is crazy. Yeah, it's the exact right car. Alright, so we're on the first lap. Breaking. You gotta be very light on the gas. One thing about the car, you gotta be very light. You can't be heavy, because guess what's gonna happen? You gotta start getting tired, you gotta have a boost, you it. I'm expecting to be a small engine. This is for line four. The turbo. I mean, you get instant boost. Probably small turbo as well. Or bigger turbo, it depends. More engine is usually don't use for our gas. Okay, in the apex, go back that way, yo. This thing is quick. I love this car. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite cars. I actually used it on Never Dream, you know, like, wow, this thing's actually. I think one of the most underrated people is I do in this one. Yeah, I see the mistakes. This is based off the best lap, it's not based off this lap in general. One of my best lap is that's the final lap for um Oops. Oh, oh. Turning too late. Oh yep, my issue. Well team view for this. So we're gonna go third person view for this. Yeah, we get to see more of the road. Great first lap. Let's try and build a lead and bring this home. 
Okay, this thing sounds amazing. There you go. I can see more roll now. Look at that. You see that? It just won't spin. <laughs> Dude, it just wants to spin. Be on your person, you think someone be in line six for a second, right? The first time I drove in it, drove it or driven it, uh, it was very, it was very sound in line six. It had like a poor sound to it. So I was thinking either flat six or in line six. But I realized this is in line four. It was very, it's kind of very weird. It was very quick. Where is James? So, the second lap will roll. Hopefully, this lap will roll. There, this is our second lap. First lap didn't go that well. God. <laughs> See, don't <bump out. laughs> This is my, not my issue. This is the car. Hopefully, next lap we don't make no mistakes and uh, find the gas and destroy it. So I've been this one with cameras and stuff, trying to find the perfect one. And uh, third person is probably the best one for the reason. Be 100%. And um, I think he's probably one of the best. It, it's uh, very comfortable. And nearing the end of the race now. Just one lap to go. Bring it back to us. The last lap. One more lap. Go. Hey, that was my issue right there. It'd be very light on gas. I can't slam the gas. I'd be careful. We're expecting some rain over the next 30 minutes. Dude, this thing is amazing. It feels so good when you just be nice with it. I just learned about this car a lot more now. It's, you gotta be very light on gas. You can't be heavy. Well, I love the cars I'm driven. Specifically, you just slam the gas completely. Um, it's very different. You have to be very light on it. There you go. That's what happens. It's tough, man. It's tough. I don't know if I'm best lap right now. See, look at that. It wants to, it just wants to spin. Hopefully, this is practice. Yeah, the right the rear tire is getting there you go. First person is gonna way better. Oh which one? Dude, look at the interior on this thing, looks amazing. Wow. Okay, so this is a quick test, so um it felt good. Um I race time and um I found this car to be very good. It's a final race time. That's um, that's how quick this thing is around the track with mistakes. Uh, let's do one more run, and this time this is gonna be the final, where it's all based off the final time. The exact settings stay the exact same. Motion settings. So this is gonna be slam the gas, rev the engine, and um, let's see what happens. Green, green, green. Go, go, go. Okay. People wondering why metal is not needed in this game. It's not very comfortable. It, it, it's very, it, you can use metal in the game. I love metal, I do metal, but the thing is a game like this where I'm more focus on the road. There you go. All right, so we're, we're gonna be focusing more on the lap time. So like, instead of worrying about the actual game. Look at that! This is pain. Feels pain. Get the rain. Get rain. Should have done this with fire. <laughs> but, uh, I don't care about this episode right now. This is just the introduction of this car. So, based off of my opinions of car, very good car. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, drop a like, because, um, Next episode where we actually begin the series, this is I guess called the introduction to this car. So uh, I found this car to be very quick and very nice. I don't know, it's just very quick and nice. So, I hope you guys really do enjoy this episode. Drop a like if you're new. And um, wait, 
Can I drop a picture real quick? Hold up a second. Take a photo. I don't care. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't need to decrease the field of view. Okay. There you go. That's perfect angle. I mean, this car is amazing, dude. Wow. Amazing. Alright, so we're gonna end the episode here, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little short episode. I think it is a little confusing. I'm talking a lot, blabbing a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, the awkward call is the introduction of car lap lines. Very few lap lines. But uh, I'm learning these cars a lot more, and I'm trying to find a place to be racing. Your first review is okay, but it, it, there's one thing I hate about it is that it takes up a lot of space on the view. You can't really see much, so. Either this view, I can use this view. Kinda, I'm gonna give it a lap test. Let's see how I feel about it. But yeah, it allows you to see more and roll more. Actually, it's more of a driving line, a racing line. Yes. Yeah, this is a lot, a whole lot better. There you go. I didn't love the gas right there. <laughs> you had to go really out wide here and hit the apex and go back out, but um, just like that. But that's it for this episode. This part. I hope you guys really did enjoy. Drop a like. Subscribe for more of these project cars, car reviews. This is very cool. I love this car. This car is really sick. It sounds amazing too. Dude, this thing sounds amazing. Turbo. <laughs> Dude, this thing sounds amazing. Wow. If all you have taken replace you have saved. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a quick testing episode, I guess. We see. I can say. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you're new, and uh, peace out.